Every single Al Nasser fan was lucky to witness the grandiose unveiling of CR7 in Mursul Park. But this young girl was clearly the luckiest among thousands. Cristiano Ronaldo arrived in Riyadh with all his class and he looks motivated to do so much more than scoring goals. The biggest transfer in the history of the game finally met with his newest fans. And the crowd went nuts. CR7's move to Saudi Arabia has been making a huge buzz all over the world and for the most part, it's all for the right reasons. You know, apart from his jaw-dropping salary that's been kinda stealing all the attention from the move itself, or local journalists welcoming him with their own versions of the CU and whatnot. But if there was one thing that stood out during CR7's much-awaited unveiling at Mersul Park, it was the moment that came at the tail end of the huge light show that the club had set up. After joining his family in the pitch, Ronaldo had a session where he signed footballs and kicked them in different directions of the stadium, gifting some incredible memorabilia to the fans who wanted to welcome him. But there was this one ball that the five-time Ballon d'Or didn't send high into the stands and it was the one he reserved for one of his newest fans. A signed football, delivered by hand, from the man of the hour himself. Now every single fan had a special day to remember, even the ones that didn't get a ball at the end. But to say that the little girl had a memory she would never forget would be an understatement, don't you think? The 37-year-old has been under the spotlights for nearly two decades now, and seeing him having these kinds of interactions with fans is not a rare sight. Millions of people know him as an incredible player, but he is also a total fan favorite for this very reason. The number of stories of him being kind to his fans, even during the moments he doesn't feel so great, are overwhelming. And yes, there have been some unpleasant moments in the past like the infamous phone slap, but CR7 is a class act. And apparently, going forward, the Portuguese star wants to take this reputation to new heights as he set himself some pretty impressive targets regarding the country he'll call home for two and a half years to come. Drawing everyone's attention to the fact that Al Nasser has a women's team and the women's game is actually competitive in the country, CR7 went on to share his ambitions. It's a new challenge and I'm so glad that Al Nasser has given me this opportunity to develop not only in football but also for the young generations and for women as well. Now, we can't possibly tell if changing and improving perceptions of Saudi Arabian football and the women's game played a significant role in CR7's decision, but time will tell if he will be able to do what he set out to do. And since whatever he does never goes unnoticed, the world will know whether he succeeds or fails. CR7 single-handedly put Al Nasser in the radar for millions of people around the world just by signing a contract with the team. If all goes well and he can show even the glimpses of his best self, he might have a pretty big chance of helping out the next generation of Saudi Arabians, boys and girls alike. Let us wrap this episode up here. Looking back at his career, would you call Cristiano Ronaldo a man of the people? Be sure to let us know. We don't know for sure if CR7 will be ending his career in Al Nasser, but it's safe to say that his team of choice was totally unexpected. If you want to remember 8 legendary players who ended their careers in uncanny places, check out this video. See you next time!